but you are members in particular, all of you. The scriptures call you that believe the beloved, the beloved. I had to look that up this morning in particular, the word beloved, and do your little word study on it. It'll encourage you um, because many letters start that way, or even in the middle of a, the book, uh, an apostle will address his audience again as the beloved. It means you are well loved. Can you just receive that today? The Word of God calls you well loved. Or, I just had to crunch it down into my 2019 version, you are his love object. People that he created are his love object, and and he loves you so well, doesn't he? His mercy, the grace of God to form you into his image by your permission It's a wonderful plan, and the kingdom of God is worth celebrating because he forms us into a unified picture through his son, Jesus Christ. And that's why we're here today, because Jesus is the head of the church. He should be the head of every home. Uh, It says that the in godly order, the wife is under the godly leadership of the husband. And then the husband is under the godly leadership of Christ. Man. And then who's over Christ? God the Father. What a great chain of to follow. Expressing all the way down from the Father all the way into... Uh, you know, down into the home. And so it should be in the home, and so it should be in the church. And the Lord Jesus is the head bishop. So when we gather here, it's kind of like this is what he wants. This is a corporate body. So congratulations on doing the word of God this morning. And uh, as the scriptures exhort us, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves. Why? Because he wants to do something. He wants to talk to you. He wants to talk through you and participate in church services like these. So if you've never been to one, hi, you. Hi. This is Pastor Adrian. When you say hi, you, it's hi, you. spelled E-W-E. It is. It's been that way for years. She calls me E-W-E. She's my you. Yeah. <laughs> and what you got to say? Well, I just wanted to jump in with what you're saying. You're stirring my heart. I was talking to someone recently, and you know when uh, God's doing something in your heart, and you've got the vision for it, and then here comes slowly just opposition or just kind of a wearing away of what you had vision for that God was doing in your heart, because the enemy's always bringing a diminishing of what God's trying to do. He's always up to some tactic to try to diminish your strength in God. And so I asked somebody, I said, what do you do to keep pushing through? Like, what is it in your life that helps you push through the opposition to get you back on track, to get you hot for God again? And you know what they said? I don't. Because you weren't there. No. I'll update you. Do tell. Sunday church service at this church. And so I believe today is a day that God will refresh our hearts, refresh our vision, strengthen you to keep going this week, to walk in what God is doing in your heart. Because for every plan God has for you to overcome the enemy, it says, do not be ignorant of his devices or his tactics or his schemes. He's doing something to derail you. So I like to look at this. I like to often say, God, what, are, what do I hear you saying to me 
through church? What do I hear you saying to me through this church body? What do I, what do I hear you saying when I'm reading the word? And then I look to see what is the enemy doing to try to derail me? Instead of just being ignorant of what he's doing, I like to try to spot him in advance. Is what is he doing to try to discourage me or diminish my faith or to, to cause us to retract or withdraw? And so as you're talking about gathering together, there are many purposes and to gather together. And, 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 you know, God was very clear, let us not forsake the assembling and meeting together because this is where it's, it's, it's like a symphony. You hear just what you need to hear from three people over here, and maybe it wasn't the whole thing they said, but one nugget was just for you. And something someone else says, and, and the words in the song that come. So I just want us to, to focus in on what's God saying to us, and what is the enemy trying to do to diminish what God's doing so we can take down the enemy. Yeah, and we're going to increase who God is in the earth by doing what we're doing today. In our homes, we bring what we've been marinating on in our homes to a corporate time of gathering. And then corporately, we hear God to take back into our homes how we should be living. I just love the plan. It's very simple. 